There are a few different ways that we can create a flat 2D animation style with 3D software. Some artists use the Toon line renders, but I find them to be a little bit limiting since they're based on calculations. This is a piece that I created in Maya using a slightly different technique. If we rotate the camera around, you can see that it's made up of a series of flat polygons that are layered in front of each other and oriented towards the camera. I'll describe how to rig these characters in another video, but first I want to show a couple of techniques that I used to create this look in Maya. The first method is using overlap. If we start with a polygonal circle, then duplicate it, move it behind the first surface and apply a black shader, and then scale it, then from the front orthographic view, we now have a color filled shape and a black outline. We can change the thickness of the line by scaling the black circle and offset the shape to just the thick and thin of the line weighting. If we want to create just a line with this method, then we can adjust the two polygons, duplicate the front surface and move it to the background, scale it up and we now appear to have a black line against a colored background. The second method is to build the line into the shape itself. If we use the same polygonal circle and select all the faces around the edge, then assign a black shader, we now have a color and line within the same piece of geometry. And to adjust the line weight, you can pick the faces or vertices and remodel the thick and thin of the line itself. Both of these methods are viable. It just comes down to how you want to manage the geometry and what the design and performance needs are for your character. And the third method for creating line and shape is by simply modeling the polygons themselves. Here's an example of a simple character that was made using these techniques. And if we pull him apart, we can see all the pieces that were used to model him. The eyes are made up of a single surface with multiple shaders. The head, nose, and ear are overlapping surfaces. And the mouth is made by modeling surfaces to look like two separate lines. By using a combination of these methods, we can get a really nice graphic 2D animation style with art-directed lines and shapes. In the next video, I'll animate this character so you can see how I manipulate this type of model. And in the meantime, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.